what's up Lightroom lovers, it's Johnny here for another episode of the Three Colours Show, the show that's full of photography love. And oh man, I've got some Lightroom love here today and we're looking at an image from Port Stephens and I'm sorry I've been uh, off on hiatus, I've been uh, going through a few personal issues lately that I've finally dealt with and life is back on track and I'm ready to start sharing the photography love with you guys all over again and I'm super pumped. 2017 is the year for me, I'm feeling feeling great about 2017 so I hope, I know I haven't spoken to you guys soon, recently but I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and an awesome new year, and uh, I know it's all a bit late, but um, I'm back, and uh, we're back. Three Colors is back, I'm back, and uh, we've been been away for a couple of months, but uh, yeah, I'm stoked, I'm stoked. Anyway, Lightroom tip, we're talking the crop tool today. I've got three ninja tips that are going to make you a crop tool guru, and I would say 99.95% of the images you'll process, you'll go for the crop tool at some stage, okay? Uh, I like to do a bit of cropping and cropping, cropping, cropping and straightening <laughs> pretty early on in my post-processing uh, workflow. In fact, so early on that, um, and that's my young bloke there. <laughs> That's my young boy there. He's hanging out with behind me here while I record. Hang on, JJ. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, mate. <laughs> and we'll leave that in. And you can see on the left-hand side here in my presets, this is my brand new, uh, I call it the Ultimate Lightroom Workflow Preset Bundle. And it basically, it's a workflow to teach you to be a master at post-processing in Lightroom. But uh, we'll talk about that a little later. But you can see the top thing here is actually number zero is to crop and straighten your image, okay? So let's get into my three tips. I'm going to close that panel there again. And uh, the first thing you want to do is know the keyboard shortcut. I love keyboard shortcuts. I use them absolutely all the time in my Lightroom workflow. And the, 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 the keyboard shortcut for the crop tool is actually R. And a good way to remember it is R stands for rectangle. Anyway, that's my theory, and I hope that helps. Maybe you can think of something else that helps you remember the keyboard shortcut, but that's what I'll use, R for rectangle. So we're going to hit the R key, okay? And now we've got the crop tool up. It's brought up the panel. Um, we can close the tone curve there behind it. We don't need it. So a couple of things. You know, there is this, normally what you want to do is get your horizon straight in camera, but we all know, we've all done it. <laughs> we all come home with crooked horizons, but we know it's really easy to fix. So there's two ways to fix a crooked horizon. Okay, You've got this angle tool, and if you click on here, you get this little measurer, and you can draw a line along the horizon and let it go, and yeah, it does a pretty good job. You know, I'm going to reset that. But actually, my favorite way, and here's the tip, is to hover over the numbers at the end of the slider here, okay? And it's going to give you that micro adjustment. And when you hover, you can see my mouse pointer changes there, okay? And when I click down, I get this grid, and then I can just move the image right or left, line the horizon line up with that grid, and let it go, and boom, she's straight. I actually prefer to do it that way 99.95% of the time. <laughs> So all the time, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's just so much quicker. And it's a micro adjustment. You'll find the little movements you make. You know, if you grab the slider, it's a bit like, ah, da, da, and you can't get it right and you get frustrated. So this is why I love this little micro adjustment up here. It's just, it just works great. Absolutely love it. And then, uh, yeah, the last but not least, and I always say when you're out shooting, you want to take a landscape perspective of your image and a portrait. But sometimes we forget. Let's face it, we're in the moment, the light's going off, we forget to turn our camera normally around to that portrait perspective or the opposite, the landscape perspective, and we forget to get that shot. So there is a quick way to get your crop tool to crop into the opposite perspective, okay? You can grab the corner and go, boop, oh, boop, you can see, but it's, it's a bit messy, it's a bit janky, and it doesn't work that well, okay? So I'm going to reset it anyway. And it doesn't work all that well. So I recommend you getting to know the X key, okay? So if I hit X, it just changes that perspective automatically like that. And uh, it'll do the opposite. So, you know, if I was in portrait, it'll go back to landscape. If I was in landscape, it goes back to portrait. And it's just a really quick way to jump from one perspective to the other. Because quite often, you know, we forget to shoot that other perspective and we want to have a look what a crop looks like. So now I can just press close there and boom, we've got our portrait crop, which is really cool. But uh, like I said, Try and remember to shoot both perspectives when you're in the field because you never know which one you're going to need or you may need it for a magazine cover or you don't really know. So, yeah, that's that's my three ninja tips there. Tip number one, 
the uh, the R key for rectangle takes you into the crop tool. The micro adjustment here for the straightening horizons and things like that. And the X key to change perspectives like that. So hope you enjoyed those three tips. Man, I live in the crop tool. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a must tool for me to use. And just knowing those keyboard shortcuts is going to speed up your workflow like crazy. Now, I'll just give you a quick look over here into my 3C Lightroom workflow. And you can see this is a new product I've got actually, guys. And I'm happy to tell you about it right now because I'm really stoked about it. And what it is, it's basically giving you a full workflow that everything you need to do to make your images pop and look absolutely amazing and uh, I'll put a link below about that if you want to check out some more of it and don't forget I've got some free Lightroom presets and, and some Photoshop actions there on my site as well if you're looking to grab those just have a look below this video and you'll see a place you can pop in your email address there and of course I'll send you some more Lightroom love straight to your inbox next time I've got some ready to go but um, it's been great catching up with you guys again and I hope you've enjoyed this tip and I'll be back very soon with some more Lightroom love this is Johnny for Three Colors the show that's full of photography love and we'll see you next time i'm out peace